Yeah, as we get closer and closer towards free agency, top of August here, um, names are going to start to be more prevalent than other names. Like it might not be the top star caliber guys, but you're going to hear these names of, of guys that really make a difference on a basketball team. And obviously that three point shot is one of the most prevalent things we got in today's game. One of the names you're going to hear a lot about, especially with some of the elite teams, the teams that are pretty stable at the top of their, their organizations for the most part. And they're looking to make a piece or two move here that spaces the court a little bit as your three and D guy. One of the names you're going to hear a lot, I believe is, is Reggie Bullock. Some very uh, high caliber teams are, are interested in his services. So expect, the teams like uh, the Lakers to get back involved with Reggie Bullock, a guy that they traded to the Pistons a couple years ago. The Philadelphia 76ers are another team that has Reggie Bullock on their short list. The Boston Celtics have Reggie Bullock on their short list. I wouldn't be surprised one bit if Philly makes a move and gets Reggie. He played with the Knicks last year, averaged about 11 points a game, 10.9 to be exact, in about 64 games. So he's a durable guy. You 64 out of 72 games is really good. Um, shooting about 44% from that three-point line, which is the most important piece to this. He was the guy that spaced the court and allowed Julius Randle to operate. Now, he was not as good in the postseason against the Hawks, but in the regular season, you know, he was one of the pieces that I think really made a difference for, you know, the the Randle-led Knicks. R.J. Barrett, we know, can struggle from the field often. And you need guys that don't struggle from the field often. 44% from the three-point line is damn good. And that's what Reggie Bullock is giving you. So expect to hear his name on a lot of teams' wish lists. We'll see if the New York Knicks, they got that mid-level exception available that's around $9 million. Let's see if they have to give up that entire mid-level exception just to keep Reggie in in New York. So if I'm telling you all that's around the number that he could get, that's a pretty nice number for a guy that's got to sit in the corner and knock down jump shots. So if that is what it's going to take, to get Reggie Bullock, expect to hear teams like Boston and Philly, and if the Lakers could get their hands back on them, they would love to do so. They will have to make a couple moves to do that. But expect Reggie Bullock to be one of those names that you hear a lot. One of the, the, the high – I wouldn't expect him to last a day or so in the free agencies. Expect somebody to throw a big number at him that could either make him leave New York or, or maybe the Knicks are the team to say, no, nah, we don't even want to play this game with him. He's an important piece to what we're building. Let's lock him in for the foreseeable future.